Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. I've got um, another journal to show you this morning or afternoon or evening or middle of the night, wherever you are. This one is called The Secret Garden and it is done um, similar to the last two, the Violet Baudelaire and what was the last one? Uh, Verdigree, sorry. It's early. So this one though is done in an emerald green tone with gold and a thread on the front <laughs> um, and gold gilding. So there's um, a keyhole plate right here. My mom says those are called escutcheons. Please don't ask me how to spell that. <laughs> um, so yeah. So on the spine is this fern leaf um, it, um, raised, what do you call it? it? If it's embossed, it's lower than level, and if it's raised, it's it's something else. <laughs> it's raised. <laughs> but anyway, this one's done in this beautiful emerald green or jade, whatever you'd like to call it, with this gorgeous spine detail. Also on the spine is a, a vintage key and this tiny terrarium with a tiny secret garden on the inside. <clears throat> I have made this, um, let me get in frame, I have made this very simple to take off the spine in, uh, in case you want to write in it and take, take this off. This is glass, so it's, it's fragile, it's delicate, so please take care. There are some silk ribbons also on the spine and all of the clips up here are silk um, of various shades and some of the Tweety Twine that I adore. You can see all things poking out on the inside. So let's go to the inside. This one is also the um, just under 9 by 6 with the 160 plus pages. Set that terrarium up there so it doesn't get, you know, this thing. Is this, is this, is this like okay? Is that frame okay? Okay. Yell at me in the comments if this is bad, if it's bad. So on the inside we have this gorgeous uh, French script here. And then we've got this peekaboo pocket over here. And since this one's called the Secret Garden, there's going to be um, flower uh, journal cards and seed packets and that kind of thing. Um, there will be little little charm, uh, little pins all clipped through here. This one is a little watermelon seed packet. And here's a little girl, a little gypsy girl in the garden. There's a little journal page here in that pocket, and everything's all sewn. Lots of sewing, lots of tails left hanging everywhere. And whoever decides that this needs to be in their home, if you don't like the tails, please just snip them off. If they get in your way or you just don't like a messy look like I do. <laughs> there is a fold out here and some butterflies. Graph paper. There's a tag in this pocket. And this is a tuck spot here. And here is my signature. I just kind of slipped that in one of them. This is, if you, if you see my Instagram, um, I posted this this morning. It's hard to tell in the picture on Instagram that it's tiny. So it's this teeny tiny little airmail envelope. Isn't that cute? And then on the inside, it comes complete with a love letter. Yeah. So this secret garden is tended by a girl who has a bow in Paris. And um, this is where she hides her notes from him. So that goes right there. On this side, there's another journaling card with a bird stamp there. And tracing paper for you tactile people. It's a very large envelope sewn in here for all kinds of goodies. It's 
some lined paper. There's another little ephemera piece there, real pretty. Um, it's a beekeeper. And a seed packet front for here. It's blank on the back, so you can journal on the back. In this pocket that has the seam bind, oh, this is silk. Silk, sorry, silk. Here's a tiny little um, notebook with this little book plate with a dragonfly on the front. And of course on the inside it's filled with pages. So that's this teeny tiny little book and it goes, it goes in there. Here's some sheet music, the button and some uh, silk sewn on and another journal uh, page with a nest, another seed packet. This one is just jam packed with all kinds of neat things to look at. Here is a teeny tiny, I left this blank so that the person could put whatever they would like in it, but it's a teeny tiny little uh, tea stained envelope for you. On this side, hidden underneath this flap, we have another place for our secret garden lady to put a secret and then close that up. And then of course this ties over the top. I've seen this in other journals and I just think it's adorable. So there you go. And this is a, uh, sorry silk, that closes that up. Some neat uh, transfer happened on these pages. I hope you like that. Nice big tag here and a seed packet and some beautiful textiles sewn on here. It's another one and another pocket here all sewn with a tag with a little garment clip and some of the Tweety Twine and stamped on there is a bee wing. Am I still in frame? Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you over here. This is, um, backtrack. <laughs> this is metal thread lace. And this is the last piece I have. So I tucked it, I sewed it in here on this page. I, so I hope you guys like that. I think it's just beautiful. So here is yet another tuck spot. Um, that's been all tea stained. Lots of tuck spots in this one. Another seed packet and some ledger. There's the other side of that pocket. A beautiful tag from some Tim Holtz paper. Another sewn pocket here. And a big peekaboo pocket here with all these, all these tails, they're everywhere. Another seed packet here. book page, more ephemera, beautiful staining happened in here. And this, this page has some, some tracing paper sewn on it. Here's, this is a gorgeous seed packet for some nasturtiums, which are one of my ultimate favorite flowers. I just love them. A nice pocket here all sewn together and then another big tag with a nest and some eggs in the back and then of course here is the back cover so here is secret garden I hope you enjoyed her and all of her secrets and she will be going up on the Etsy store today and I guess that's about it I've got some other journals already started and in the works and um, so I hope to be back with you guys soon. Um, also um, I will be filming the tutorial right after the first of um, this new year coming up so stay tuned for that. That'll be fun. I'll probably put um, uh, an announcement for that in the Instagram so that you'll know when to come and look. So anyway guys I hope you have a fantabulous day. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.